Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be having a look at the Heretic Astartes uh, Focus, uh, the Word Bearers. Before we begin, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please grab your chainsaw and destroy the subscribe button and absolutely decimate the bell button so that you never miss an upload. So let's have a quick look. So it says, Care Space Marines are set to receive a huge wave of new reinforcements in the near future. Not to mention the amazing Daemonkin units in the Warhammer 40k Shadow Spears. So this week we are taking a closer look at the traitor, traitor legions themselves. Give praise to the Dark Gods as today we're looking at their most devout servants, the Word Bearers. Who are the Word Bearers? The Sons of Lorgar were once the most loyal of Space Marine legions. Openly venerating the Emperor as a god and raising great monuments in his honour. But rather than rewarding such devotion, the Emperor punished the Werebearers for their worship. Lorgar, the Legion's Primarch, took his father's spurning personally and sought elsewhere for powers worthy of his dedication. First Chaplain Erebus and First Captain Cor Pharon had already begun to worship the Dark Gods in secret. Encouraged by two of his most trusted advisers, Lorgar became the first Primarch to turn to Chaos, and his wordbearers followed him. So obviously here's a picture of some Terminators, and that's the new the new Duda. Um what's he called? Can't remember what it's called. It's basically a new model. Versing some of our favourite gene stealers and gene stealer cultists. So, um, of all the traitor legions, the Werebearers are far, by far, the most zealous, chanting, blasphemous, ca I can't pronounce that, catechisms um, to the dark gods as they do their unholy work in battle. They are often accompanied by corrupted cultists and the demons that rituals have summoned forth from the warp or bound within fearsome war engines. The Werebearers are far from mere fanatics who blindly fight for in their infernal masters, however, they are space marines first and foremost, and so combine their frenzied devotion with disciplined battlefield tactics and ruthless efficiency. A council of nine chaos lords and dark apostles of the Wordbearers, known as the Coven Tripl Triplicatus, I believe, has accompanied, has accompanied Abaddon to Vigilus. There, they seek to raise the warp-tainted Knocklith crowns at the key nexus points across the world's surface to bring about its damnation. This is the main bit we're here to read, which is, On the battlefield, zealous determination with which the Wordbearers fight is one of their, their greatest assets. This is represented in their Legion Warlord trait which makes them incredibly resistant, good gosh, to the effects of morale and serves as a dark mirror to the and they shall know no fear. You can re-roll failed morale tests within for the units, basically, which is pretty good, but then again, if it's something that the um, <clears throat> the loyalists get for nothing, it seems a bit silly. However, does that mean then you can use this with cultists, which makes them a bit better? Um, possibly. Um, yep, yeah, so if you want to do a screenshot, go for it. Boom, there we go. If you're looking to take your Word Bearers Army to the next level, the new rules in Vigilus Ablaze and Codex Case Marines will enable you to field improved HQ unit choices and powerful specialist detachments that will really, really play into the character of the Legion. Let's take a, few, a look at a few of them. What I want to say right this second, I believe there was something recently um, in a community... Them stop it, stopping the video here for this point. Um, in the community uh, pace, posts, good gosh, um, saying about how to build from the Shadow Spear, how to build your chaos, basically saying about using characters to buff your um, army, which is a which is a good tactic to give, right? And I think it's really, really good for a, a beginner. So, right, okay, so you've got all these good units, you can make them even better by having some characters. Good. Top tip there. However, the new Shadow Spear Space Marines, or Primaris Marines, if you will, um, are, as far as, I'm, as far as I'm aware, I could be mistaken, are aimed towards taking out characters. So basically what this is doing is it's setting the Chaos player up for a massive fail, specifically to do with the Shadow Spear set. So if they're actually any good, I've not used them, or properly looked at the rules, 
So if they're any good, then they're kind of, they're going to be used more often and they're basically setting Chaos to die, which is a bit underhanded in my opinion. Uh, Dark Apostles, there we go, and that is the model right hither. The guy with horns on his head and some plebs, basically, want for want of a better word. Um, blah, blah, blah. The word bearers are renowned for the demagogues who rise within their ranks. They're oratory able to inspire entire populations to overthrow the oppressive yoke of the Imperium. The fam most famous of this is Erebus, who is the first of the Dark Angel's Apostles, a rank now commonplace amongst the traitor legions, and especially within the word bearers. Along with a shiny new miniature, Dark Apostles have been blessed with it as an unholy conduit of Chaos Gods. In addition to granting their leadership characteristics to any nearby Legion units, Dark Apostles can now chant ch uh, prayers to inspire the Brethren. So let's see what it is. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, it, no, it can chant prayers. The Dark Zealotry Prayer below and one prayer from the prayers to the Dark Gods. Ah, okay, so it's a bit like Psychic Powers, basically. Let's start with each bar round. You can pick one of the prayers it knows, and on three plus, the prayer is head. That player prayer takes effect until the end of the battle round. The same prayer cannot be chanted more than once per battle round by any model in your army, whether it is head or not. So if you've got a choice of a few, you can go for it. If you fail, if you pass, then you, you still have to go for another one anyway. Basically mean you're not going to spam it. Uh, dark Zealotry, so this must be one of them. <coughs> if this prayer is prayer is heard, you can re-roll hit rolls in the fight phase for attacks made by friendly legion units when they're within six inches of the priest. So I have not paid attention to the other post just yet, um, but I have a feeling Chaos Cultist will not be included in this. And I, uh, might, might be wrong, might be heavily wrong, but if it's anything like the... Um, like the... Orcs, uh, where the Gretchen do not get the, um, the cults, cults, not cults, um, that's genius, the other cults, uh, clans, you know what I mean. So we'll, we'll have a look and it might, that's my prediction anyway. There are six other prayers, the Dark Gods, choose an additional prayer dedicated to each of the Chaos Gods in your Dark Apostle bears their mark, okay. For example, Omen of Potency would we'll take your Dark Apostle into a Frenzy to Killing Machine. Okay, right, so, immediately... They've told us uh, there's an additional uh, six others. All right, okay, so you, does that mean it's four Chaos Gods and there's three other normal ones? If this prayer is head, or add three to the priest attacks characteristic. In addition, if this prayer is head, prayer is head, this priest's melee weapons have an armor penetration of minus four, which is a little bit sick, in my opinion. However, However, mm, yeah, so basically he's going to become uh, like a, a kid. I my you know, words are not coming to my head. You know, he's basically a beat stick. Um, to, all but to all but guarantee the Chaos Gods will hear your prayers, simply take a pair of Dark Disciples with your Dark Apostle for a handy boost to your rolls. Ah, so these are the Dark Disciples, I guess, then. Relic of Corruption. Uh, well, any Legion, Dark Disciples, units, um, within two inches of Friendly Legion, Dark Apostle, add one to the dice rolls to see if the prayer chant is heard by... Okay. So it says any. So even if you've got one, you can still get... You start one, so it becomes um, a two plus instead of a three plus, which is more often they're not going to work. So you don't need to, but you can have two, and if one dies, you've got another one. Vigilus Blaze, so I'm not really fully interested in this, because unless they make this, um, like, actually in the Codex and stuff, then I don't know. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. Use a stratagem when choosing your army. Pick a Curse Burst Marine detachment from your um, army to be Daemon King Ritualist Specialist Detachment. Dark Apostles, Dark Disciples, Masters of Possession, Possessed, Greater Possessed Units in the Detachment, Gain Daemon King Ritualist Keyword. Okay. So not your normal dudas, just the specific ones. You can give Detection of Fire brand of choice of the Shepherd of the True Faith Warlord trip to Spear, which is a bit of a mouthful. Um, TFWT. Uh, and bombard your opponent with a shower of mortal wounds in the process. Okay, so this could be interesting. Ah, okay, so you have to be... No, no, no. 
Okay, no, just... So, I was just sorry. I'm just working out in my head whether you have to be um, using the Demon King Ritualist Specialist Detachment to use the other one, but it doesn't say specifically, unless we go back to it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, it does. Nicholas, you're a moron. Anyway, each time you roll a unmodified wound roll of six, attack made with a melee weapon, friendly Demon King you Ritualist within six inches of your Warlord, that's attack inflicts one mortal wound on the target in addition to normal damage. So it's only on um, Master Possession, Possessed, or Greater Possessed. But in addition to your Apostle, so you can make your Apostle a bit sick, to be honest. Um, massive possession and greater possessed. Okay, where bears the most skill? This is going on possibly a bit long. How long are we on? We're on 10 minutes, so uh, we're going on a bit well. Uh, <laughs> the were bears are amongst the most skilled practitioners of the traitor legions in the dark art of summoning and binding demons to suitable hosts. That's important. After all, Argel Tal and Gal Vorbach were the first examples of this practice. And during the Horus Heresy, yeah, so it's fair to say that a legion has set something of a precedent in the field of possession. A master of possession from a daemon king ritualist specialist detachment can serve as a focal point for a powerful stratagem that augments the already formidable power prowess of the possessed and greater possessed to new levels of horrible. So again, is this actually, yeah, so it's, you have to have the other stratagem basically, the other... The other detachment, use a stratagem at the start of the fight phase, pick Demon King Ritualist units from your army within six inches of a Demon King Ritualist uh, Master of Possession. Add one to the strength and attacks characteristics. So basically, the guys, so your Apostle, even though you want to keep him alive, can be a little bit insane. So he's going to be um, adding loads of attacks. Any sixes he hits on, going to cause mortal wounds, going to have minus four on his... Um, on his thing, he says he's going to auto, auto, not auto kill, but do a lot of damage. This stratagem will strike, uh, which is probably what they're going to be going on about now, uh, stack especially well with a strength bonus from the Locus of Power, but to Great Possessed, it'll be Slaughter. Between Shadow Spear, New Dark Apostles, and Vigilus Ablaze, the faithful throngs of the Weird Bearers are better represented than ever before. If you're looking to kickstart your Weird Bearers collection with a bang, the Warhammer Shadow Spear Battle Fox is a perfect place to start and is available in stores and online now. If you want to catch up with your Weird Bearers reading, the absence of the fabled Book of Lorgar, grab the epic Weird Bearers Omnibus by Anthony Reynolds. Anyway, so it says, So the keen-eyed amongst you might have noticed a new Dark Apostle in the image above. He'll be available soon, but in the meantime, we thought of this. This would be ideal opportunity to show your model painted in the colours of the Black Legion. Looks like he might be on his way to Vigilus. Okay, interesting. And that's the end of that one. So, um, opinions uh, of mine. Uh, as I said, uh, it's good. Good, good, good. Uh, obviously focused around the uh, combat phase, uh, specifically. I like the idea of the the, um, the prayers, and I have a feeling that if we do get anything to do with um, Imperial Agents or anything like that, where we have priests, or when it comes to the sisters with the priests within that, we might have prayers for them too, which might mirror these, possibly. It could be a whole new phase, maybe. I also think, um, and I could be wrong, and I'm willing to be corrected, and now I think... It, I think the cultists used to get um, the legion traits as well in the in the codex. The current codex allegedly is another one coming out, um, and I have a feeling though that those will not be, um, just because I think that's the way they're probably going to go. But you know, feel free to correct me at any point. What do you think of the new models? Any good? Obviously, you meant to put that in the comments. Um, I'm not going to hear that, so that was a bit of a silly point. Uh, I think it looks all right. Not so keen on the face. Maybe looks a little bit gimpy to me. But the the um, the dudes that follow him around look a bit cool, in my opinion. Um, so I like, like I say, I like the idea of the the prayers with the priest. Um, but I do think, <laughs> from what I've seen of these uh, recent posts, all they're doing. I'm pretty sure if we scan through it really quick, we'll see the word uh, shadow spear once. Are we going to find it again? I'm going to see it at least two times as an advert in here. I mean, I'd probably do the same if I was selling something. I'd probably do the same, and maybe I'll have to eat my words. Um, let's have a look. 
No, 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 no. Wait. No. Okay, so maybe I'm just imagining stuff. Shadow Spear there. That's the second one. Yep, so basically the second one. So there's two, and I would guess in the next one there's going to be at least two or three adverts for the Shadow Spear thingy. So basically they're, they're doing a sensible thing, but it feels like they're pushing it in, our, in my face anyway. I'm going off on a massive tangent now, so let me know what you think. Um, whether they're going to be good, bad, uh, whether they're basically killing Chaos off with the, with the targeting, uh, basically, an army of snipers. Who knows? Um, right, um, I'm going to call it there, and uh, I'll see you next time for the next one. Thank you.